Forge Bowl Event 2019 in Forge of Empires. The Forge Bowl Event 2018 was a great success for InnoGames. In a press announcement, they emphasized that for the very first time, InnoGames was able to earn 1 million euros on a single day with Forge of Empires. This makes very clear why we will have another Forge Bowl event this year. The event mainly was designed for the very important growing market USA. In many other countries, American football is less popular. I assume that the last full day of the event will be the day of the Super Bowl, which is February 3rd, 2019. It will then end before noon of the next day, February 4th. Based on that, I calculated the starting date, which is Tuesday, January 15th, 2019. Just as last year, you will receive some balls for logging in every day. This time, you will get 80. Therefore, the daily login is rewarded significantly. Then, there is a quest line with 50 quests, which is an average of 2.5 quests every day. Before the year ends, I will publish all quests in the first comment below the video. I was able to complete the first five quests nearly immediately to receive the first milestone reward, the Colossus Level 1. As I will be away soon, taking my annual holidays, there will not be a separate video about the quest line this time. The grand prize, named Colossus, reminds us of the Colossus of Rodders. This new event building, with a 4x4 floor size, can be upgraded to its maximum level 10. On that level, it is a mighty event building, providing 12% attack bonus, population, coins, and after motivation, also medals and 6 forge points every day. Everybody wants to have this. Beside that, there will be a classic garden set of three parts. The classical garden pool, the classical garden patio, and the classical garden statues. This set provides coin and supply boosts plus city defense. As usual, the grand prize is the most attractive goal of the event. Other rewards like the Shrine of Knowledge or mediocre buildings from previous events are nice to have. In case of a grand prize that improves so much from level 9 to level 10, everybody wants to know if there is a possibility to get this reward without using diamonds. We all saw that last year InnoGames' initial plans were different, but they corrected that during the event with a hotfix by giving upgrade kits as a daily special. This was a reaction to the massive player feedback. As this was an exceptional hotfix in those days, I think InnoGames is not planning to offer upgrade kits as a daily special on a regular basis. On the other side, InnoGames promised that there will be the possibility for active players to have the maximum level of the grand prize if logging in every day and completing the questline. To make a calculation of the chances in this event, we need to take a closer look on that minigame. First, it reminds more of the soccer event than the Forge Bowl event. You use balls to let players get closer to the next touchdown. The game starts at the 20 yards line. For the remaining 80 yards, based on an average of 15 balls per yard, you will need a maximum of 1200 balls per touchdown. In the case of my first touchdown, I started with 1980 balls and still had 825 balls afterwards. This means that I used 1155 balls for the touchdown. Currently, it looks as if players will receive 8050 balls during the event. This will enable you to have 7 touchdowns. 
This means four upgrade kits plus three upgrade kits from the milestones of the quest line, resulting in a Colossus level 8 in the end. This would be disappointing, but there still is a possibility that later quests provide more balls than the first quest, or maybe the upgrade kit will be a grand prize again. It is still too early to make a precise statement on that. But as I am in holidays, when the event ends on the better server, I simply didn't want to wait longer. You will find another video soon on this channel about the best strategy to get most out of this event.